Hi everyone and welcome to today's blog hop with the WOW Embossing Powder and Trinity Stamps Design Team. We are combining this fabulous teams here for a fun filled event. Now I'm going to be using the Bouquet of Hope stamp set. Um, I found this was really beautiful. I've used some embossing glitters on the outside of my card trios and some new release items as well from WOW Embossing um, and I'm using the embossing glitters on the outside you can see here um, I use the glitters on the outside of the border which I'll show you the technique and I've got here prime primary fuchsia and then Florida sunset here now the Florida sunset has a glitter has a beautiful gold flex in it that you see it in the light here and so does the aquatini as well so i used i'm going to be using in this video the flirty future wow trios from catherine puller and i'm going to be using the tickle for the embossing glitter and the wink but i also wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the sparkle here and the sparkle is called frisky <laughs> all right so you what you'll need is a top folding card base and then a, a card base that's also one eighth of an inch all round smaller than the card base smaller than the card base i have used my misty tool here and the misty tool is going to be um, helpful for here because just in case i was doubtful of my mad stamping skills joking um i what i've done is i've actually used the wow embossing pad this is the clear ultra slow this is really really tacky and really good so you really don't need to worry too much unless it's more a pressure thing when it comes oh and i wanted to show you quickly the um the wow embossing new release here we've got the freestyle tool embossing ink pad refill conditioner as well so it can be used either or um, and so i'm stamping pressing my ink pad here and it's going to stamp towards the center of that cardstock i'm going to be pressing family as i said the misty tool really helps if that if i didn't get all over i was able to press it again but you know i'm performing cpr in my stamping technique here so i should be able to get it um, now the solid color i'm using for the embossing powder of choice is called wink now this is um where my first set of embossing so this card here there's actually no stamping as in with inks it's pure embossing um and so i'm pouring my powder generously and then i'm going to tap it off so i've got a white scrap paper here it's just copy paper and i'm just going to tap off any excess and i use this to catch it and place it back and funnel it back in now with the wow heat embossing tool i'm going to put it on the um, the number two heat setting and i'm going to zap that here with my heat tool and i do take my time because i want to just make sure i get good coverage it does provide a really intense heat so do be careful and just make sure you keep on moving and you're not staying in the one spot now i'm just making sure i'm getting all of those florals it's quite detailed and this stamp in this ink um, really captures all the detail as well and then that be of the beautiful bouquet of hope stamp set I'll be also using the same sentiment, the sentiment which is included in there as well. So there you go, how shiny and glossy that is. Now, for the edges, you can, I'm using the swipe technique here basically. I'm going for a really rustic look. I'm going like really heavy on the actual ink. I'm not being pedantic at all if you want to stick to it more i would recommend just placing it down in your surface and then swiping the ink pad but i was happy with a really rustic look here in the swiping action and you can see how rustic it looks because the lines aren't straight there's some chunky bits here and i'm actually happy with that now if you see in the top left reflection my kitty cat decided to join me um, in the process so that is um zoe so you'll see the tail wandering in that um, she's 
wanting to be part of the filming process obviously so again with my heat tool heating just around the edges now this beautiful embossing glitter has like an iridescent blueness to it and that works really beautiful with this purple color um, so that's the tickle um, embossing glitter that's what it's called isn't it beautiful <laughs> what a wonderful name so just making sure I'm getting all the edges now and I'm going to be using foam mount tape because of the warping I found that foam mount tape placed heavily all over of the back of that will help with that now before I do I want to create my own colored cardstock so I've got a strip of white um, cardstock here I'm just going to heavily ink this up with flirty fuchsia with my blending tool it's not going to be perfect you could also do direct swiped ink to the um, cardstock and I'm making sure that that's dried heavily I'm going to put it on setting one now because I did make sure I dried this subtly uh, quite a lot I didn't feel like I needed a heat um, like a powder tool I because I hit it on the back and front this was enough to take that tackiness and moisture out and I was able to stamp the sentiment now I'm going to be using opaque bright white in super fine because this sentiment is quite detailed and the sentiment reads if friends were flowers I'd pick you isn't that beautiful it's one of my favorite sentiments actually I really really love it um, and then I'm just going to pour the white all over that and heat set that as well. Now, tapping off was just enough. I didn't feel like I need to brush off any of the excess because it worked out perfectly when I used my setting one of my heat tool. And then now just making sure that is dry. Now I will adhere this down with liquid adhesive. Um, and just deciding whereabouts I'm going to place this using my tonic, Nuvo tonic, and pressing that down just on that panel there. And I will give it a little bit of a trim. You can see the overhang, which I have done with just my paper snips. Um, and I will also, this is the bit where I use my three mount tape. I place that three mount tape quite heavily all over. I don't have, um, you know, that foam, the foam backing. So I just use my 3M mount out, um, foam mount tape to make sure. And then adhering this on. Pressing it down so it's all flat. Um, and then just I'm going to add some sequins from the Trinity Stamps collection here. And I've placed the same sequence all on all three of my cards. Now to adhere that down, I did use multi matte Medium. It was my adhesive of choice because it doesn't take the sheen away from all of that um, sequence color and iridescentness. So here you go, here is my cards. I hope you enjoyed today's um, card trio collection and um, hope to hear from you by leaving a comment on our blogs. Thanks for watching.